Hey, it's Ziff, and welcome to Update 0.1.5 for Kerbal Space Program 2. Um, this update actually fixes a bunch of stuff, optimizes a bunch of things, as well as gives us the new grid fins, which I will do a quick just rundown of what it is, what they are, and also kind of what they are in real life. But now, let's do the update optimization test that we've been doing for the past few updates. Actually, every single update. So basically what this test is, is we take this giant 200 part rocket, which cannot fly by the way, in the case you want to see this thing fly, it cannot fly. Until we hit like the orbital, like uh, construction yard, shipyard, we're not going to see this thing fly at all. But, we're going to take this thing and launch it. And we are going to see how much it affects the frames per second of the game whenever it's just on the launch pad, when it's actually launching and the rockets are going, and then finally, whenever it explodes, because it's going to explode. So here are my PC specs. I'm on the lowest settings. And here is the test. Now, here are the results. And now, here is the past update results, compared to the new one from 0.1.4. As you can see, there has been an improvement in most all areas, so it has improved quite a good bit. It'll be wonderful to see how the For Science update, um works out and how much that will improve it because this i from what i've seen will be the last update before the four science update where we actually get science parts once the science update comes out i might make more videos on ksp2 since we'll actually have stuff out that we can actually do and that'll be pretty cool but now let's talk about these new fins that have come out so from what I understand in the real life, this was this is mostly famous because of, or at least these kind of fins are famous from the use in SpaceX, such as the Starship, which actually uses these a lot from what I understand. I'm pretty sure the main premise bef behind grid fins and like why they were made is because they are easier to control at higher speeds. Like basically it takes less force to move them because at higher speeds, uh, just regular wings and stuff, they don't like to move as much. They like to stay in their certain place. Whereas grid fins, because of their smaller profile and everything, they're much easier to turn and control. There's that. They're really efficient, is, is the best way I can put it. I don't know exactly everything to do with the fins, but they're pretty cool. And can't wait to be able to use those in KSB2. Now, I'm going to leave you with a side-by-side -side comparison of the last test and one in 0.1.4, and uh, this test in 0.1.5. I hope you all have a wonderful day, or night. Stay safe, know that you matter, love you all, and I'll see you.